Hello and welcome to the Ed Hoddle Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by students and head football coach Ed Hoddle. And coach, um, last Saturday you had your homecoming game against Wilkes. Uh, big crowd, um, great win, just a great day overall. Just kind of talk about um, everything that went on on Saturday. Uh, the crowd was awesome. Um, you know, that home field advantage is something that uh, that we really enjoy here at Mustang Stadium. And, uh, you know, it's great to have the support of the students, the alumni, the faculty and staff. Yeah. Um, you know, and also I think, you know, a big thank you to everybody that puts on that type of event, yep. having that many people here, um, Paul and, and Mike in the athletic department yep. and you guys, obviously, yep. security guys, uh, facilities guys out working, doing different stuff. Um, there's a lot of moving parts to, to putting on a football game where, you know, we're going to have 3,000, right. 4,000 people in attendance. Um, so a big thank you to those guys. And we're just happy to do our part and, you know, win the football game. Yeah. Um, speaking of the football game, um, obviously, big story, obviously, Chaz Lyles and the day he had, um, you know, threw for two touchdowns, ran for one, and caught one. Um, just talk about, you know, the type of player, what he's meant to your program this year and, the, and what he meant on Saturday. Well, obviously, I, I think when you look at a day like that and, and, and you know, as you kind of reflect on the game post-game, you start to wonder if you've ever been around a performance like that. And I know personally for me, um, I have not. You know, yeah. a guy that throws for two touchdowns, runs for one, uh, and, and catches another one and goes over 100 yards receiving, right. um, I, I think is a credit to his work ethic and practice. I think it's a credit to, to, to him as an individual and, and, and what he brings to the table athletically, but also from a, from a mental perspective and how yeah. he prepares through film study and things like that. Um, I also give you know, great credit to the offensive staff and, yeah. and being creative mm -hmm. and putting, you know, putting him into situations where he can make those dynamic type plays um, from just about anywhere on the field. Certainly, right. he's going to be a guy that our opponents are going to have to keep an eye on moving forward. Yeah. Um, another thing in the game, obviously a couple unusual plays you know, that you, you guys were able to take advantage of. One was the muffed punt that you turned to a score, and then the kickoff right at the start of the second half that you were able to get. Um, and again, just it seems this team has a knack for taking those kinds of plays being on the right side of them and converting them and turning them into points. Well, I think you look at the punt, um, you know, that's, again, something that, you know, we weren't great at early in the yeah. season. And uh, Coach McCray's kind of, you know, taken ownership of, of that group um, and really worked with them, you know, throughout the season in practice and where to be, you know, uh, positionally when, when the, the returner catches the ball. And, you know, and, and Vince was in the right spot at the right time yeah. and, and was just working. And, and it was a hustle play. And I think that, I think the kickoff, um, if you ask Coach Nelson, he'll tell you we scripted it that way. <laughs> um, I've never seen a ball come off of a helmet like that yeah. in all the years I've been doing this. So, um, you know, luck being on our side a little bit there. Was, right. you know, but I also think it was, you know, a heads, uh, heads up play by Brad, you know, yeah. being able to catch that ball on such a, an odd bounce, you know, running full speed down the sideline and, and, you know, able to secure the ball and, you know, get out of bounds, you know, to obviously take the ball away. So, you know, exciting, certainly yeah. exciting. Yeah, and then talk about, you know, the job the defense did. Um, you know, kind of a different look you got from Wilkes. I mean, some of the other teams you play a little bit more through the air as opposed to the ground. But for the most part, they did a good job of containing them. And um, also making plays when they had to. Like, they were able to move the ball, but at the same time, when it, when they'd get down the red zone, you were able to come up with some stops. Sure, and, and that's, you know, that's the hallmark, I think, of, of team defense is, you know, as, as we start to figure things out, um, you know, the guys getting, st you know, stiffening up as we get into the red zone a little bit. And I, you know, I, I hats off to, to what Wilkes was able to do. I mean, I, I don't know that we'll see another quarterback that's as good at extending yeah. plays as he is. And, um, you know, we knew we'd have our hands full. And, and that's not necessarily something that, you know, you can talk about it. You can look at it on film. Um, but it's incredibly hard to replicate in practice. I, I, I know they tried. Yeah. Um, but something that's, that's difficult to prepare for and, um, you know, our guys responded well, you know, to the to the challenge that, that he posed on Saturday and, and, and made plays when we needed to. Yeah. Now you've got your bye week this week coming up. Um, kind of what's the plan this week with kind of, the, you know, the staff and, you know, obviously so we practiced a couple of times, but just kind of to have that chance to have a little downtime to kind of maybe get some guys healthy. That, and that's the key, you know, for us is, you know, we our kids haven't had more than a single day off since August the 6th. Right. So for us, it's it's getting them rested, getting them the, the extra treatments, getting them, uh, you know, just downtime, yeah. you know, time to catch up on their homework. Yeah. Um, Staff-wise, you know, we're going to take advantage and hit the road and do some recruiting. Yeah. Um, you know, it's an opportunity to get out a little bit before everybody else does. You know, yeah. the, the, the mad dash will, will start after, you know, after the 11th week of the right. season, but it gives us an opportunity to get out 
late enough where it can be a meaningful visit with a potential recruit. Um, but we've still got football to play, so we've got a, kind of one hand in, in the recruiting jar this week as well as the, as the game prep. So Right, because obviously you've still got, you know, obviously two regular season games and hopefully at least one postseason game to, to uh, get prepared for. Absolutely. A lot of football yet to play, a lot of work yet to do um, as, we, as we look into the next month. And um, the key for our guys is, is getting the much-needed rest and, and getting as healthy as we can be for, for two weeks. Yeah. All right, Coach, well, enjoy a little bit of downtime for you and your staff and your players, and uh, we'll chat next week. Thanks, Greg. All right, for Ed Hoddle, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Ed Hoddle Show.